mixtures revealed. A mixture is just combining two or more items that could be separated physically if we needed to. So a mixture you might be familiar with is salt water. And this is actually a solution because something's dissolved in something else. So we can make a mixture by pouring salt in and stirring it. Oftentimes this is called a saline solution. So saline just means like a salt water. I also can make a mixture, which you're probably familiar with, by combining some concentrate into some water. I can take some lemonade and I can mix it into my glass. I've made a mixture, also a solution. I can also create mixtures with solids. My favorite kind is with candy. So oftentimes, the things that we combine are not in equal amounts. Let's go ahead and combine this candy. I have some lifesavers and some caramel. Yum. We could even create a mixture that seems kind of weird. Say you like Flaming Hot Cheetos and Famous Amos Cookies mixed together. I can combine them and create a rather strange but perhaps tasty mixture. You could stir them up and I could try a little. Oh, oh, these Cheetos are hot. <coughs> oh, that's the salt water. In front of me, I have two different concentrations of red food coloring, two different solutions. One of them has a higher percentage of red food coloring than the other. Now, when I mix them together, what will my concentration be like? What will my percentage be? So think about what it will look like when I pour these two different concentrations together. Okay, so you can see that this one is in between my concentrations of the strong one and the weak one. The percentage of red food coloring is in between the strong and the weak. So let's take a look at a solution in kind of a weird way. We're actually going to use solid objects to represent our liquid solution. And we're going to use these chips. A stack of 10 chips is going to represent one liter. So each one of those chips is one tenth. Now we can mix it with a concentrate, let's say Tutti Frutti Wild Cherry Mix, and that's going to represent our red chip. So in this instance, I have one red chip or one-tenth of the chips are red. That's my concentration is one-tenth. Now let's look at how to convert that into a percent. So if we look at one-tenth, we can multiply both the numerator and the denominator by 10. So 10 over 10, which is just a 1, and we get 10 over 100. Since percent means per hundred, we can say this is 10%. So we would call this a 10% Tutti Frutti Wild Cherry Punch solution. So here we have 10 chips representing one liter, and three of them are punch. So three out of 10, which is the same as 30 over 100, or 30%. Now let's look at this one. Now again, we have one liter. We have 10 chips. Five of them are our punch chips. And so we have five out of 10, 50 out of 100, a 50% punch solution. So take a look at this and pause the video and see if you can come up with the percent punch solution. Seven out of 10 chips, 70 out of 100, 70% punch solution. Let's take a look at two different solutions. Now the one on the left you've seen before, it's got 10 chips and one of them is a punch chip, so that's our 10% solution. Look at the one on the right. Can you see how many liters that represents? Well, if you notice, there are 20 total chips, and I stacked them according to groups of 10. 
So if you look at them, you can see seven chips and then three, and then seven chips and then three. Since I have two groups of 10, that means it's two liters. Now let's work out the percentage of the right-hand solution. The left-hand one we know is 10%. The right one has six red chips out of 20. If we reduce that, we get three out of every 10. Multiplying both the numerator and the denominator by 10, we get 30 out of 100. Percent means per 100, so 30%. Now what happens when we combine them, the 10% and the 30% solution? Well, we know from our example when we had the dark red and the light red and we added them together, it was somewhere in between. So we expect the percentage to be somewhere in between 10 and 30%. So let's mix them together and calculate the percent. So putting the chips together, and I can see I have 7 out of 30. Now 30 doesn't go evenly into 100, so nothing even times 30 is going to give me 100, so that's not the easiest way to calculate this percentage. What I like to do is turn this into a decimal. 7 divided by 30, and I'm going to do this on a calculator. And I get 0 0.2333333, which is approximately 0.23. And I can turn this into a percent by even just reading that decimal. This is 23 hundredths, so 23 out of 100, or 23%. Now notice this is in between 10 and 30, and it's closer to 30 because we added 2 liters of the 30% solution. Now let's look at the quantity. We had 1 liter here and 2 liters here. When we combine them, we have a total of 3 liters. Let's take a look at another example. On the left, I have a 30% solution. 6 out of 20 of the chips are red, which reduces to 3 tenths, multiply both numerator and denominator by 10, and I have 30 over 100, or 30 percent. And on the right, I have 7 red chips out of 10, or 70 percent. On the left, I have 2 liters, and on the right, I have 1 liter. Let's combine them. Think about the two numbers the percentage will be in between. We know the amount will just be the two amounts we've added, so 2 liters plus 1 liter equals 3 liters and our percentages will be between 30 and 70, closer to 30 because we're adding more of the 30% solution. So when we mix the solutions, we can see 13 punch chips out of the 30 because we got 20 from one and 10 from the other. We'll change 13 thirtieths to a decimal. 13 divided by 30 is 0.3333 on forever. And that gives us a repeating decimal, so we're gonna round it to 0.43 that's 43 hundredths, 43 out of 100, and that's 43%, closer to 30 and in between 30% and 70%. Now let's talk about exactly how many liters of punch are in each of our solutions. Now we're talking about one liter over here on the right, so we know that that number has got to be less than one. It's got to be a fraction. So we know that 7 tenths are punch, so this solution on the right has 0.7 liters of fruit punch concentrate. Now let's look at the one on the left. Each of the two liters has 3 tenths, so 2 times 3 tenths. That's how many liters we have. So if we take the number of liters multiplied by the percentage of the punch, we get how many liters of punch we have in each concentration. 0.6 liters in the left-hand side and 0.7 in the right. We can also see how many liters ended up in our solution. So we know it's a 43% solution. So we can multiply the number of liters, 3 because we added 2 and 1, by 0.43 with a line over it. And we get approximately 1.3 liters. Well now if you look at it, we can see that if we take the liters from each of the different concentrates, they of course add up to the liters in our final solution. I love mixtures. Not bad. Hot. Hot. Yum.